Hi, I'm Mike Koblich from ElectroAir, and I'm with Ron Cooper of Cooper Air Repair today, and we're going to talk about induction leak tests. An induction leak test is a commonly misunderstood and overlooked engine diagnostic test, yet it can be a very effective tool in diagnosing major engine problems and helping to improve the efficiency of engine operation. We're going to talk today about some effective techniques for finding induction leaks on aircraft engines. Ron, what are some of the indications for doing an induction leak test, or why would we do an induction leak test in the first place? Well, generally we perform these tests at 100-hour and annual inspections uh, when the aircraft comes in or a customer complaint. Uh, it may be anywhere from a high mag drop or little or no RPM rise on shutdown of the engine. Now, why would an unusually high mag drop during an, an ignition check or a little or no RPM rise during an engine shutdown, why would that be a sign of an induction leak? Well, when you've got an overly lean cylinder, you've got a situation where that cylinder is putting out less power compared to the other cylinders with a proper mixture in it. So when that cylinder is checked with the mags, it's going to make the RPMs drop even more. Makes sense. Let's talk about the induction leak test itself. Right off the bat, safety first. Generally, you want to do this test with two people. That will become obvious in a minute. Secondly, you want to make sure the aircraft is secured, the master switch is off, throttles and mixture control are closed, remove the spark plug wires from the spark plugs themselves, and any time you're operating near the engine, always remain outside of the arc of the propeller so, we don't get any unusual, so you don't get hurt, basically. Safety first. The equipment needed is a, is a differential compression tester set to 80 PSI and a soapy bubble solution. Any soapy bubble solution will work. Kids bubble bath in a spray bottle would be great. Ron, why don't you talk about the hookup of the equipment? Okay, basically we use number one cylinder as, as general. You, you would start out with a differential compression test. And we bring that cylinder up towards top dead center on the compression stroke. And then we induce our air into it. And then Mike will hold on to the prop, naturally with both hands on each side of the prop. And you got to have communication between the two of you so he knows when the pressure is coming on because these props can be quite deadly because of the force that this cylinder can put on that prop. Now, I'm going to hook up the differential compression gauge. Make sure your valve is turned off on your gauge so it doesn't put any air into it. Okay, Mike, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to turn the valve on and then he's going to start feeling pressure build up in that cylinder. All right, Mike, why don't, you, why don't you move your prop so you can charge up the cylinder. Now what he's doing is he's allowing the cylinder to fill up with air. We're at 80 PSI, and if you heard that, that's what we call burping. He'll move it in the opposite direction to travel for that engine, this engine. Okay, Mike, go ahead and burp it again. Okay, that noise you heard is the air that's filling up the entire induction system. This could be on fuel injection as well as carbureted engines. Okay, now what I'm going to do is apply soap solution with a sprayer that can be attained to any hardware store. Okay, Mike, go ahead and burp it. Okay, if you notice there's bubbles coming out of this hose. Alright, that could be a loose clamp or... There you go. That could be a loose clamp or a kinked tube that has been tightened too much by the clamp that you wouldn't even see. All right, the next place that we're going to go is up on the gasket area where the induction tube bolts to the cylinder. Uh, that can be a bad gasket area or a misplaced O-ring. Okay, go ahead and burp it, Mike. If you notice, that blew a lot of soap solution away from it. Uh, this is a severe leak, however, if it was a small low pressure leak, by putting too much air when what we call burping it like you're seeing, it could blow the soapy solution away from it. So let me do it one more time. And then, okay Mike, go ahead. Alright, there's a major leak. That's going to cause a lean cylinder condition, uh, mag check problems, shutdown problems, as well as uh, cause excessive heat in that cylinder. Okay, Mike, we're done. Don't let go of the prop yet. I'm turning the valve off and disconnecting it so there's no pressure left in the cylinder. And then make sure to move the prop so it relieve it, Mike, just in case. 
Okay, that's it for the induction leak test. So just to review, on the induction leak test, always make sure the airplane is safe and secure, master switch throttles, all that equipment turned off. Do this test with two people. Check for induction leaks. Common checkpoints would be loose clamps, uh, induction tubes, rolled seals on induction intake tubes, throttle shaft, loose carburetor, fuel injection servo. I hope this video has been helpful. For Ron Cooper, I'm Mike Koblick with Electro Air. Happy flying.